Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have a very special LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. This one happens to be the epilogue, Luke's Island Free Play! That's right, this is going to conclude the main storyline of the free play videos. We have some new Star Wars adventures that we're going to be taking on as well, but this one is going to be pretty easy peasy. As you can see, the true Jedi requirement is only 30k. And we're going to get that red brick and a couple of gold bricks as well. So, hey, let's go ahead and kick this off. We're standing right here in the hub of the Millennium Falcon. And don't forget, we do have quick links down below that will quickly get you through to all 10 mini kits and that red brick. But meanwhile, go ahead and choose Dequa and choose Luke's Island Free Play. And, of course, choose your favorite character. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, as you will have access to all of them that you have purchased and the ones that you haven't purchased yet. Uh, so, oh, look at that. We don't even have control of our character yet, and we've already rung off the true Jedi. Now, all right, first things first. Look at that. Mini Kit 9, one of three. We are just starting, Brian. Why is it number nine? Well, as you might remember, we never count a Mini Kit until we have collected all of the elements for it, and the last two elements for that one happen to be at the end of the level, so we'll go ahead and collect those later, but we wanted to make sure we got that now so we didn't have to run all the way back. So, speaking of back, switch on over to Ack. Mr. Admiral Akbar, and dive through the little pond on the far left side, and go ahead and grab that mini kit on the other side of it. Now, we have switched to a character with a grappling ability who happens to be J.J. Abrams in our case. We go ahead and we can rip down the plug right below the Millennium Falcon. And hey, don't blink. This is going to go fast. So uh, I'm going to try to keep up with myself here. Now, normally the AI or other character that you have there will follow you. But in this case, for whatever reason, Akbar switched to Luke Skywalker and was stranded out on that island. But we needed a character with a lightsaber. So we went ahead and switched to Luke. And he went ahead and cut that wall down like butter and now we've got this little agility pathway here we need to switch on over to ray and look at that woohoo we made it across and we got oh look at that luke had that going too now i don't believe luke can do that on his own but the ai made it happen so weird stuff going on in this level and before uh, smashing and grabbing and building that platform up, go ahead and go to the far right and find a little jump post that you can jump out onto this little island here. And not only is there a mini kit you can jump off the back of the island and grab, but there's one you can use the force on on the far right side. So look at this. I told you, don't blink. They're going to come fast. And in fact, we've already gotten five of them knocked out, and we're not even to the three-minute point of the video. So... There are a couple of story elements we need to do in order to progress. Now, I did find in a kind of a trial run here that you can use old Asgar Heath, or Afgar Heath, I guess it's not Asgar, whoopsie, but uh, we'll go ahead and use uh, Ray to get up. But you can use Mr. Heath and his jetpack to go ahead and jump up on the high right side there, but it is kind of a tricky uh, situation. So we went ahead and just used Ray, and now that we got her up there, we'll go ahead and rebuild the multi-build over to the right-hand side, which is basically just a giant weight that weighs down the checkerboard path, allowing us to push this big old block down below, and it'll build up some posts that uh, Chewbacca can go ahead and get his hopscotch on. So, woo to the hoo! Oh, a little bit of a funny angle there. It was too close. And we back up and we shot that target down and all of a sudden we got ourselves some more strength handles. So Chewbacca is still out, so we'll go ahead and get our ooh on and look at that. Ooh, he dropped it like it's hot and all of a sudden we got some bouncing bricks. We'll build those up into a stairway and you probably noticed that there is a mini kit notation popping up there. So that's right, you probably grabbed this one in the story mode, but in the event that you were like us and you waited for free play, go ahead and throw the staff on up in there. And once it's stuck, spin to win, twirly pole all the way up. Up and Booyaka Shao, grab number six. All right, right around the corner here. Nothing too spectacular going on, but you probably remember there's some strong handles in here too. Holy cow, there's a lot of handles in this level. In fact, there's probably more in this level than there are in the entire game. All right, but uh, we go ahead and rip that down, pulling those vines, uh, basically pulling them back to reveal these twirly poles. We got one last little hole there we need plug in. Giggity. And we'll go ahead and do that with Ray's staff. And look at that. We spun all the way out. And oh no, look out. Uh, every time that one will get you. So beware of that. But once you get all the way up top on the other side of the path that's being blocked, go ahead and switch to a character with the dark side of the force. And we chose Vader. We're going to go ahead and shake it up. 
Hoo, hoo. Look at that. We have revealed a little hound hatch. So we'll switch to our favorite hound, Mr. BB-8. Now, of course, uh, an Ewok, uh, there's plenty of characters that would also get through there, too. But we chose the old round hound to do the job for us. And look at that. It's just right up above. So we drop right back down. And now we find ourselves in need of some smash and buildage. Once we get this all built up, it turns out it is a staff switch. So good thing we chose Ray. Go ahead and pull that sucker all the way around, and look at that. Oh, the rocks come tumbling down. What? What is Chewbacca doing back there? Chewie, come on, man. We need you up here. It's a it's a two timesies up here. We need two people, and you're up there. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Like I said, this, this level was awfully weird with the uh, artificial intelligence, or in this case, artificial not-so-intelligence. All right, we have finally got both characters over to the checkerboard path, and we're going to go ahead and push this on down. And guess what? It'll actually go ahead and rip down a nice little makeshift bridge for us. I wouldn't trust it in real life, but because it's a Lego bridge, we'll go ahead and tiptoe across. And look at that. I'm feeling a little little uh, bold there, so I go ahead and jump. But, of course, the, it's weird. that You used to be able to jump off those and fall, and it used to be kind of problematic. But now it's not, so I guess that's a good thing. But anyhow, once you get over onto this new ledge, before ripping those strong handles out, switch to a character with the Force and remove this wall blocking the pathway to that mini kit. I told you this was quick. Oh, uh-oh, fail. Strong handle, fail. This one was different. Most of them are just the uh, timed button pressing, but this one I actually had to pull back. So, hey, we're going to go ahead and skip that. You can see that there was another tree there that we need, but we're going to go up to this gold wall because we love gold. And look at this. We're going to melt it down. Of course, there is the heavy stormtrooper with the big automatic machine gun that pew, pew, pews and melts that. There's also the flame trooper that's available. Both cost you 125000 studs and you probably should have them both by now if you don't you should be able to purchase him from your character select grid inside the level here so all right now we're gonna go ahead and take out the other two trees you can see we got the one at the bottom of the path now be careful not to go up to the left there and talk to luke it might trigger the end scene there, preventing you from getting these and requiring you to replay this level so be careful there we jumped off to the right hand side of the path as you saw took out that tree and now we just need a character with the strong ability not to rip the hand Handles, but to smash a cracked wall and this was kind of funny look he can't get in there even when all the bricks disappear he still cannot I'm like inside the, is he a ghost is there something I don't know about this guy I mean uh, anyways we switched to the producer and rightfully so he has wrapped up the movie and wrapped up the game and check it out we're gonna go talk to Luke but it takes us right into the final totals and that's right Luke's island free play is now complete with our stud multipliers on, we actually got the true Jedi requirement before we even had control of our characters, which was nice. And we also got that red brick, which was for the Funk Awakens. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what that does, but I have a feeling it's some sort of like a hypnotic dance brick that makes everybody dance and maybe play some funky music. We have our music turned off for copyright purposes, so we won't be able to tell you any of that until we uh, get done recording videos. But as you can see, we got all 10 mini kits, which gave us two of the vehicle tokens. And look at that, a quick peek at our overall totals. And oh, to the yeah, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens Epilogue Luke's Island Free Play. Holy cow, that was a mouthful. Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. More than likely, you found all of those mini kits on your own including that red brick but if you didn't hey feel free to drop a comment down below or head on over to facebook or twitter or hey if we really helped out feel free to subscribe or we do also have a patreon account now so feel free to become a patron and support your fellow happy thumbs gamers and depending on which tier you choose you might even become a happy thumbs namer on our main website so check it out go to happythumbsgaming.com and look at the menu up top and find the happy thumbs namer tab and that's going to take you to a page that all of our patrons our current active patrons on patreon.com that are supporting happy thumbs gaming will be listed in our kind of wall tribute to them so thanks to all those people hey you could be next as for me i know what's next i'm gonna go wrap this up and get some more videos cracking so as always until next time you too can become a happy thumbs namers head on over to patreon.com slash happy thumbs gaming for more information